Rocking a new cut and color is one of the easiest ways to ring in a new look with your new year. Whether you're frosting your tips or dying for an entirely new shade, you're going to need to bleach your hair first. But before you say bye 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 to your natural color, stick around for some bleaching science and tips. Hey everyone, Matt here. When you bleach your hair, you're taking out the natural pigments called melanin. Hair has two types of different melanin, and the ratio between them is what determines your natural hair color. Black hair is mostly eumelanin, which is derived from the amino acid tyrosine, while red hair is dominated by pheomelanin, which comes from both tyrosine and cysteine. Starting with these amino acids, enzymes in our follicles catalyze reactions that weave these natural polymers together. Melanin in our hair ends up as micrometer-sized clusters that are way stable, so getting rid of them takes a fairly aggressive approach like using the most popular hair bleach, hydrogen peroxide. A typical commercial bleach uses about 5-10% to 10 hydrogen peroxide in a basic solution that has a pH of between 9.5 and 10.5. This base helps hydrogen peroxide penetrate into hair fibers, where it oxidizes the melanin and breaks it down into components that dissolve in water, so we can rinse them away easily. But bleached hair is also weakened hair. Hydrogen peroxide strips hairs of their protective lipid coatings. The longer you bleach, the lighter your hair gets, but the more lipids you lose, leaving your hair more damaged and brittle. Going platinum blonde could cut your hair strength in half. And that's according to Yash Kamut, a chemist and consultant for cosmetics companies. So how do you deal with this damage? Look for bleaches that get the deed done quickly, but consider avoiding bleach products that contain boosters, like ammonium persulfate or potassium persulfate. Although these chemicals speed up the bleaching process, they also induce more hair damage. And lastly, repair your hair, homie. Cosmetic chemist Gustavo S. Luengo of Loyal Research and Innovation says there are oodles of products out there that work to replenish the lipids stolen by bleaching. Many make use of ceramides, which are lipids that are normally found in cell membranes. Now, I've always thought that putting oils or fatty acids in my hair sounded crazy, but apparently there's something to be said for going, Insane in the main! Insane in the main! At least if you're bleaching it. That's all for this Speaking of Chemistry. Feel free to leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe and share.